Joining me now is former Ambassador Elon Pincus, uh, former Consul General in New York, also former advisor to Prime Ministers Ehud Barak, Ehud Barak and Shimon Peres. Uh, Ambassador, thank you very much. So you heard Secretary Blinken uh, straddling and trying to appeal to all sides. They're trying to minimize the, you know, the, the disaster in Gaza, the humanitarian Gaza, try to stop um, alienating the Arab street, the Arab leaders, as well as European leaders uh, against Israel, but also, you know, passionately talking about what happened on October 7th and the horror of it. Um, what do you think the reaction by the Israeli war cabinet will be to, for the first time, him publicly calling for a pause in the airstrikes to get aid in? Hi, Andrea. Um, here, here's the thing. There were two themes in uh, Secretary Blinken's uh, uh, speech at the UN Security Council. One was, as you correctly uh, point to, the uh, humanitarian aid that, uh, in order to facilitate it, Israel needs to uh, pause airstrikes. And I think that while Secretary Blinken made that uh, unequivocal in his speech, he also made it unequivocal in his private meetings here in, in Israel, the twice that he has been here, once with President Biden. The second uh, um, no less important theme is the, the very uh, uh, clear warning that he delivered to Iran. Do not test us. Uh, do not expand or do not escalate or do not spread, to use his uh, terminology. Um, and do not hurt America, uh, Israel's allies. Who are Israel's allies that he's referring to? The U.S. So I think the Israeli war cabinet, uh, going back to your uh, question, Andrea, is going to look at both and say, if they're smart, we'll take it. We'll do what he asks in terms of uh, uh, pausing airstrike to allow for humanitarian aid. But we also feel emboldened, strengthened, and supported by what he said about Iran expanding this or escalating this into a, uh, a broad uh, um, regional conflict. So I think as a package deal, uh, so to speak, uh, that's, that's an important message from Blinken. And implicit in that, tell me, does that also mean a delay or a, or a halt, if you will, in any ground invasion other than incursions which have been going on? Yeah, well, okay, that's that's the sixty-four thousand question. Not not uh, sixty-four you know, not 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 all viewers remember the sixty-four thousand. It looks uh, so so meager now. But that is that I is do. the big that is the, I know. Uh, that is the big that is the big question now because here's here's the thing. There is a thinking that vertical escalation, meaning uh, um, a ground operation in Gaza, an augmentation of forces, a uh, increase and in significant increase in firepower, may lead to a so-called horizontal escalation, meaning spreading it into Lebanon. So that's one thing that's inhibiting the ground operation. The second is um, warnings, pol very polite, but, but also very pointed and poignant, uh, that that President Biden made, and he said, you know, I understand that you're consumed, but I understand the rage, but do not be consumed by this rage, this rage. I'm sorry, uh, meaning you need to have a political objective here. There needs to be an end game, an exit strategy. You know, all these euphemisms, and so that's holding up the ground operation. The third thing that's uh, um, preventing it or stalling it at this point is the fate of the hostages. There are still. Uh, 220 or 218, rather, hostages uh, held in Gaza, including babies and toddlers and, and elderly and uh, uh, what have you. Um, and a ground operation is not the best of uh, options in terms of uh, um, ensuring their well-being and safety. But here's the thing. If Israel is intent on uh, obliterating Hamas, which is a legitimate goal, um, Israel surely understands, we surely understand, that this entails a ground operation. A ground operation that people like uh, uh, David Petraeus or uh, uh, Mark Kirtling, two former uh, decorated American generals, have uh, warned against, and something that both Biden and Secretary, President Biden, I'm sorry, and Secretary Blinken have also cautioned against. So I think the combination of this um, delayed this operation. On top of all this, I'm sorry to confuse our viewers, on top of all this, there seems to be a disagreement in the Israeli war cabinet on when and how much to do so.